Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, it, it, it is Friday. It is Black Friday. Uh, we're going to get into a good show today. I got a really, really good show I want to get into today. I got a, a good opportunity to make money. Uh, we're going to call it our Lock of the Week. Uh, get into our Lock of the Week real quick. We got Patty Donovan and Danny Ball on the Cameron versus Taylor undercard. Two undercard. Uh, I think there's a really good fight to make money on. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single for every single major fight to keep you guys updated, uh, give you the news, uh, um, and show you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble here. Uh, we use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do gamble, I'm going to show you a, a, an additional way to make a constant revenue. Uh, the boxing bookies, the boxing odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, and, and something like that, Patty Donovan versus Danny Ball, and you see the odds. You're going to be, how do you make money on this? Well, I'm going to show you how to make money on this. Um, all right. So let's let's get into the – and also subscribe to uh, Texas Boxing Scene. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right. Um Let's get into today's big fight. <clears throat> Tomorrow's big fight. Undercard fight. Patty Donovan is a really good-looking prospect. Kid from Limerick, Ireland. Uh, athletic. Moves well. Fires in combination. Fires real crisp, clean shots. Um, he's athletic and he moves, but he's got pop and he doesn't waste a lot. He's got good footwork. He's a, he's a good athlete, right? He's a 147-pound prospect. <clears throat> you know, I think if you look at him, you look at Dalton Smith, who they love. Who did uh, Ball beat as well. Uh, no, he didn't. Samuel Mason did. Sorry. Uh, Danny Ball. Um, I'm sorry. If you look at, um, let me, let me, let me, let me digress. Let me, let me start over again. If you look at Dalton Smith, the prospect that Eddie Hearn loves at 140, it's the weight class below. I think Patty Donovan is drastically better. I, I think Patty Donovan is, is a top notch prospect. Now he's going to be in 147. It's going to be a tough division to ever win a world title in because it's just that tough, but he's got the skills, right? He's got the skills, the athleticism, and he carries a little bit of pop, right? He doesn't stand in front of you, and he can hurt you. He's a really, really dangerous fighter. Um, he does a lot of things really well. He says he's got extraordinary footwork. He creates his angles. He, he attacks. He gets in when he wants to, and he stays at range when he wants to. He does a lot of things really well. He's fighting a guy, Danny Ball, who got brutally – and he's not, Danny Ball's not a bad fighter. Um, he's, he's not a bad fighter at all. He, uh, got brutally knocked out. Um, and I, I always get this name wrong. Aku Esterman, am, Aku, am, am I saying that right? Um, in the sixth round. And, and, and that's not really a puncher. Um, now I, I don't want to say he, you know, Esterman is, Feather fisted, and this was two years ago. He's got a couple of wins since, nothing of note. Uh, you know, he got a win over Jamie Robinson, which he stopped him. But my point is here, um, uh, here's my point Danny Ball's a, a good little fighter, he gets a little aggressive, he's, he's, he's a bit tall, he's a little bit long. Um, he's okay, he leaves himself there to be hit, and he's aggressive, so he's there to be hit, right? And uh, he's you know, like I said, he's aggressive, so he's looking for the stoppage. And Patty Donovan can hit, so th this fight's gonna, gonna be pretty, pretty. Com you know, uh, pretty explosive. It's going to be a high action fight. Someone's getting stopped, and Patty Donovan is drastically better than Danny Ball. So Danny Ball is going to get stopped. Is what I'm telling you, <laughs> right? And when you look at the odds, I'm going to pull the odds up in in, in just a minute. Uh, and you're going to look at these odds, and you're going to say, why are the odds like this? And I'm going to show you why the odds. Or like this. Let me get this pulled up for you. So Patty Donovan, it's minus seven hundred. You got to bet seven hundred to win a. Uh, to, to win a hundred dollars, and you're like, oh, well, how am I making money on this? Well, it's a two times bet. All right, so you're gonna walk away two times better twenty dollars, but you're gonna, you're gonna walk away with twenty eight fifty seven. Okay, that's not where we're making our money. Where we're making our money here is as uh, the odds of, of, of the TKO. 
Okay, it's eight and a half, and you can take the under. Uh, you can take the over if you want, uh, but the over under, I don't. I don't like the splits on this. They're, they're, they're basically saying it's a 50-50 fight to go the distance, but they're not paying you like that, right? If you look at the spread, the spread is is, is minus one twenty for over eight and a half, minus uh, one fifteen for eight and a half. I'm, I'm, it's probably gonna go under, uh, but I, that's about the time I think he'll stop him seven, eight, nine. So I think they're right on the money on that. But he's gonna stop him. Uh, he's too good. Um, and like I, I said, Bull's been knocked out before. He's an aggressive fighter. He opens up a lot. He's going to get caught. He's going to get hurt. Donovan can hit. He's skilled. He can hit him from on a range of angles. So he's going to stop him. And that pays almost even money that he stops him. It, it pays minus 135. So um, we're going to put a one times bet on that. And we take in. What amounts to, because there's two possibilities for this fight. Patty Donovan by stoppage, Patty Donovan on points. I think stoppage is way more likely. Um, and we're going to make over $100. $102 and change on a $300 bet. So we were able to take a, a minus 700 fighter and get it down to you know minus 300, basically, when you, when you look at when it's all said and done, by taking Patty Donovan by by KO TKO DQ. So I mean, this is how you make money on things, right? The e the easy thing to do, and you're hedging your bet here a little bit if Patty Donovan wins by points. Right? We're gonna lose money if Patty Donovan wins by points, but you, you've hedged it by making the obvious choice: Patty Donovan wins this fight a two times bet, right? So you, you're gonna make some money on that. But I'm confident Patty Donovan's gonna win this. Like by stoppage. I mean, if Danny Ball goes a distance here, I'm going to be really surprised. Um, not that he can't, just I would bet against him going the distance, which is what I'm showing you, and, and it pays pretty well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a two times bet on Patty Donovan. That'll make it 28.57, and a one times bet on uh, Patty Donovan by KO, TKO or DQ, and that's going to pay you 74.07. Let me know what you guys think. Let me. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, remember, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. It is November 24th. It is Black Friday uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay in.